All right, so I wanted to make a um, quick video on how to update your mod pack if you need a new version of Curse uh, Forge. So on the Curse Launcher, if you own the mod pack, you want to go ahead and click on the mod pack you update. In this case, it's our TFP Mega Build that I want to update. Um, I was running on another version of Forge, and some of the updates that we have that have are coming out in this new update are actually need... Uh, the latest version of Forge to run. So in order to get this, you want to go ahead and click on this upper right-hand corner with the three dots, which will bring down this drop-down. Go to Profile Options. And in here, you can change the name of the profile. You can change what type of um, you know release it is. And then you can also change Forge. So it gives you every single Forge in reality like that really matters at this point for the current version you're running on your mod pack so in this case we're needing the latest 1808 so usually in most cases just look at the last four numbers that's how most people read of forge that play minecraft pretty regularly you usually just want to get the latest one when you update your pack that way you're always current and everyone can always use the most up-to-date uh, information as long as it's relevant to your pack so once you get that, you hit OK, and then you relaunch the game. So you just hit play to relaunch the game, and it should show in the ready to update and play that it will show the current version. You want to run this before you update your pack because what it will do is it will recompile all the full files in so that when you export the profile to re-update to the curse uh, uh, launcher to your uh, profile page for your mod pack, it will have all the most current information available. Also, always test your pack before you release it. So that is my tutorial on how to uh, add in uh, the latest version of Forge. I thought I'd make the video only because I haven't seen, I didn't really see much like of an explanation on it. And since making the mod pack, I hadn't really done anything with Forge. So I didn't really remember how I did it originally. So hopefully this helps people out and thanks for watching.